Hello, this is Purple Rosa and I'm continuing on with the Dragonhold prologue quest. So, we met Kasura and she brought us here to the Valley of Blades, which is where we met Sai Sahan. And we now have to go to the Wind Scoured Temple, I think it was called, to find some dragon guard artifacts or something but yeah before that we learned how to use the grappling bow i think it was called which was really fun so yeah we have to talk to sai sahan to continue this this old warrior has deciphered the first map it leads to the wind scour temple hidden atop the ruins of hoonding's watch i saw the light of the brazier i take it you were able to utilize the grappling bow yeah, the grappling bear. Yes, I used it to reach the roof of the training hall. Excellent. As the saying goes, a weapon is only as reliable as the soldier who wields it. With that being said, it would be best not to drop the device. It's incredibly old. Now, are you ready to depart for Windscour Temple? And what are we looking for in the Windscour Temple? Anything we can use against the dragons. Tomes describing hunting techniques and strategies. Weapons. Honestly, whatever appears to be useful. If you spot something of value, let me know. I'm sure we'll find something. Let's go! Let's be on our way then. Kasura has agreed to let us borrow her horses. The sooner we search these dragon guard sanctuaries, the sooner we can uncover their secrets. I can't stop looking at his shoulder plate. I hope we can get one like that. So yeah, let's go Perry. Such a beautiful horse. I'll secure the horses while you go on ahead. Oh, so I guess that's your horse? Pommel. It's kind of ugly. I like Perry, my beautiful horse, <laughs> even though it's not my horse. So, explore Windscour Temple. So we're in Alakia. Oh yeah, just here. So, Hoonding's Watch. Don't really remember this area. It's been ages. But yeah, just a red guard place. Jump down. That hurt. Oh, what's that? Some portal. Yeah, I don't remember this quest area. <laughs> Some ghosts. Something's happened here. Needic. I wonder if that's part of the quest area here and can't get up there. Was there a staircase? Guess I'll just follow these other people. Also do we request I guess. So yeah. Sai Sahan being back from the dead and all. He hasn't told Lyris that he is back yet. Which I hope. Which, when he does, Lyris will be ecstatic. But he should go tell her now because if she finds out that he's been back for a while, well, alive for a while, she wonder why he didn't tell her sooner. I really don't remember this quest area. Guess we go through the portal. I'll secure the horses while you go on ahead. Nope. So I could have taken this portal up here. Would have saved that walk around. So... 
Oh, it's down there. Let's go. Okay, so let's go, Sai. But yeah, I don't like how they just brushed over his death. If you sacrificed him, oh wow. To think that a Dragon Guard sanctuary was hidden beneath Hoonding's watch all this time. Yeah. It's really pretty. Look how big this cavern is. Yeah, there's the Dragon Guard banner. It seems this sanctuary won't easily give up its secrets. Come, let us speak. There's some tablets. But yeah, look at this place. It's really pretty. I'm going to read these tablets first. Well, let other players reading them. I'll talk to Sai Sahan first, because tablets might be how we get in. Yeah, this place is really neat. Oh, look up there. Stop moving. It appears the sanctuary's archives are out of reach. There doesn't even appear to be a place to use the grappling bow. I, I don't know how to proceed. There must have been a way for the Dragon Guard to reach it. I agree. After all, with the proper application of will, the way always opens. Hmm. Perhaps the answer lies in these statues. Do you know anything about these statues? I am familiar with these personages. The statues represent the four greatest Grand Masters the Dragon Guard have ever known. Gelen Brawl, who helped establish the Order. Etienne Valiusis, who chronicled their history, and so forth. Huh. And how do these Grandmasters help us reach the ledge? A brazier stands before each. Perhaps if we were to light them, they would reveal a way forward. Though I also suspect there's a proper order to it all. Read each statue's plaque and see if they contain any clues. Alright, I'll read the plaques and try finding the braziers. We honor you, Grandmasters of old. May your flames burn eternal. So as I suspected, I have to read these tablets. Grandmaster Etin Volas. 28792902. Wow, that's pretty young. That's... That's like... They're only 23 years old. How can they be Grandmasters at 23? The chronicler of our sacred pursuit, honoured as modest, honest, and astute. She is the last grandmaster that we praise by prayer and faith and brazier's flame. So the last dragon master. He's pretty young as well. He who honoured Akitosha's light, who fought against the Black Beast Sprite, is the second we praise. So, second and fourth. She who oversaw, ooh, Alduin's wall. That recorded the dragon's rise and fall. We honour her, this third Grandmaster. She's pretty young as well. Like 22, I think. Sorry, 27. Still pretty young, so she's the third. So this must be the first. First of the Grandmasters. Okay. Wait, how old was he? He's 33. So the first... Uh, 
I think this one was the second. Uh, yeah, the second. The third. Statue's missing its head. And the fourth one was it here. That did it. Look, a grapple point has appeared on the platform above. Oh, yeah. Let's go. What an archive. If the Empire knew anything, it was the value of keeping good records. But you're still down there. How can you see it's a good archive? So search the archives. First, I want to look at this place. There's barrels up there. That's kind of weird. Yeah, some weapons to kill dragons, pierce them. Check the other side just quickly. It's about the same. Uniform, Dragon Guard uniform regulations. Ooh, the Horn of Jadari. Written by Commander Olin of the Dragon Guard. The Dragon Guard is dying. This is something I cannot deny, no matter how I wish it were not so. Yet I also cannot deny that it was our Order's own ineptitude that led us down this path. It was we who failed to protect our Emperor, we who allowed that vile snake to swallow the Empire whole. Disbanded and disgraced, those of us left with the decency of shame have scattered to the winds. And so our pride is broken and our order in disarray. But I have learned of an artifact which may become our salvation. The Horn of Jadari. Legend states that it is the most powerful dragon horn that our order ever created. Possessed of a mysterious self-replenishing magic, unlike any other dragon horn. With such a relic, I believe we can rally others to our cause and bring honor back to the Dragon Guard. It seems, however, that Wind Scour does not hold the Horn of Jadari, and so we travel to Storm Talon next, in hopes that we may find the Dragon Horn within that Sanctuary Halls. How goes the search? Come, tell me what you discovered so far. So the Horn of Jadari sounds really powerful if the magic in it can be replenished automatically. So what was this other thing we got? We got the bow. The tomes. That's about it. Can I read these other shelves? No, that's it. Okay, I'm coming. But yeah, this Horn of Jadari is obviously what we're searching for. Have you found anything useful? Dragon hunting techniques, perhaps? Maybe even a weapon? Uh... Sounds even better than a weapon. I found a journal. The Dragon Guard came here in search of the Horn of Jadari. The Horn of Jadari? This journal claims... It's a dragon horn of great power, and the last of the original dragon guard went in search of it. Incredible. I thought dragon horns were merely legends, but according to this, at least one exists. I used one in elsewhere. Truly? That makes your experience invaluable to our efforts. Tell me, what does a dragon horn look like? How was it used? <laughs> Well, it looks like a big horn. The one I used sounded and knocked dragons out of the sky. So the legends are true. Incredible. A dragon horn would give us the edge we desperately need to combat the dragon invasion of elsewhere. After all, a dragon is far easier to fight on the ground than in the sky. True, true. 
They didn't find the dragon horn here, but they were going to search Storm Talon Temple next. Storm Talon Temple? That's the location revealed by the second map. It's near the entrance to Afrin's Hold in Stormhaven. We should head there at once and see what we can find. I'd like to look around a bit more before I leave. Or a fast travel now. Give me a second. I recommend you show your respects to the Grand Masters before you depart. We owe them all a great deal. That we do. But yeah, they were all really young. 23, 27. I think this one was 33 years old. Dragon Guard don't last very long when you think about it. But they do hunt dragons. Okay, Leah, yeah, let's fast travel there. I recommend you show your respects to the Grand Masters before you depart. We owe them all a great deal. I just did. Yeah, let's go. So, Storm Talon Temple. Where are we? So, so we're in Stormhaven. Okay, over this way. Guess it's under this. What was it? Afrin's Hold? Also, don't remember that quest area. But it's been a while. It's been a while since I've done all these zones. Uh, I think I'm going the wrong way. Nope. It's the right way. But yeah. Because the Grandmasters didn't live past their well, some didn't live past their 30s. One was 33. It will... We'll have to keep that a secret when we recruit the new Dragon Guard members. Just don't tell them they'll die. <laughs> Young. So I guess... We're actually going to have to go in the hold. Oh no, he went over. There we go. Made it. Just had to angle my jump. So here we go. Wonder what this temple will look like. Huh. So this is Storm Talon Temple. Wow. Seems more like a maze than a sanctuary. It's really pretty. So, in the loading screen of that description it said the Stone Talon Temple, the Storm Talon Temple here, the Dragon Guard used to hold yearly competitions and the grappling Bow one was the fiercest, so looks like we'll be getting getting to use the grappling bow here. It appears the sanctuary has fallen into ruin, blocking our path to the archives. As the Dragon Guards say, every path is worthy of pursuit. Though it seems the path we seek is a rather tricky one. Do you have any hmm. ideas? Why did you try using your grappling bow? There may be a path forward that we just can't see from this vantage point. I suggest you pick a direction and see where it takes you. If you become stuck, feel free to return here and try again. Alright, I'll try to grapple to the archives. But yeah, uh, so if this is under the Afrin's hold here, which did not have that hole in the ground. How has no one fallen or seen this place before? Doesn't make sense. Okay, let's go. This 
is really cool. Oh! <laughs> Need to be aware of my surroundings. Just gotta be careful. So yeah, they held competitions here according to the description of the loading screen. But yeah, all oh, that temple's really cool. But yeah, I'm hoping in Southern Elsewhere they have like grappling bow hidden areas we can get to. Never know. Look at this place. Such a big cavern. Oh, where to now? Excellent work. Now see what you can find in the archives. How can I hear him from over here if he's way back there? But yeah, if the grappling bow we were given is really old, I myself wouldn't be using it because, as Sai said, if we drop it, it'll break. And we use it to grapple over things. Excellent work. Now see what you can find in the archives. I'm getting there. Getting distracted. <laughs> oh wow. <gasps> Dragon skull. Oh, this is a really cool place. I wish we had like bookshelves like this. It's really cool. Okay, searching the archive. The formalities of Dragon Guard correspondence. But yeah, I do like the bookcases here, like with the big wood beams on the side. List of deceased dragons. Ooh. Oh, I can't even read that. That's a shame. Curse of the Black Beast. These all sound interesting. Oh, here we go. Various rules and guidelines for how Dragon Guard soldiers should write reports. A list of dragons defeated by the Dragon Guard and the year they were killed. Huh. A Dragon Guard journal written entirely in the Archivary language. A small scribble on the cover translates the title. Ooh. Fire Dragons, a burning menace. Oh. It's gone. I like how they gave them descriptions though. A book in the Archivary language. Yeah. Here we go. Searching the Horn of Jadari, part two. After scouring the tomes of Storm Talon, I finally discovered that the Horn of Jadari is housed in Darkwater Temple. We should find the entrance to this sanctuary a little way south of Windhelm in Eastmarch. I also found records that indicate something a bit hard to believe. According to several reports, the dragon horn we seek is indestructible, both from physical and magical means. I know of no other dragon horn that had such power. How was the dragon guard able to create this weapon? It also makes me curious as to what manner of dragon the horn of Jadari was carved from. Must have been a truly powerful beast. Was he called Jadari? It seems unlikely, given the name's distinctively Khajiit sound. 
Let us hope that when we find the dragon horn, so too shall we uncover the secrets. Darkwater Temple. Any luck over there? One of the books we just saw was reference to Black Beast or something. I wonder if that is the dragon that the Horn of Jadari was carved from. I guess we'll find out. So we have to go to Darkwater Temple. I wonder if that's where the horn will be. And if we'll fight that black beast that was mentioned. The one written in Arkaviri, I think it was. Curse of the Black Beast, I think it was called. So yeah, the Horn of Jadari sounds really, really powerful. Kind of scared if we meet the dragon it was carved from. We'll probably have to fight it. Which should be a fun fight if we do. Were you able to find the Horn of Jadari? Nope, but I found another journal. It says the Dragon Horde resides in Darkwater Temple. Interesting. We should prepare to face further challenges. Neither Windscour nor Storm Talon were easy to navigate. I suspect this next sanctuary will prove similarly difficult. Does the book indicate where this dark water is located? The sanctuary is in East March, south of Windhelm. We can take the horses to Windhelm and then search on foot from there. Uh, you should go on ahead, I'll join you soon. I'll meet you at Darkwater Temple. Yeah. So yeah, it's a really interesting if we have to fight this cursed black beast that was mentioned in one of the books that we found. One thing I find is they do give hints in quests if you pay attention. So now we have to go to Darkwater Temple, where we have to meet Sai Sahan again, I think. So, what we've learnt so far is that the Horn of Jadari is a really powerful horn that the magic in it uh, recharges, and the horn is indestructible. And the dragon that this horn is from They're making it seem like it's a really powerful dragon and we will probably have to fight it because the dragon guard, they, I'm thinking they created the dragon horn from this powerful dragon and obviously the dragon that they took the horn from did not like that so the dragon is, we'll probably find is guarding the horn that was taken from it and yeah we found Darkwater Temple here because we still have the dragon guard ring that Kasura gave us so let's go so from that description in the loading screen the Darkwater Temple here was used to train young dragon guard but fell into ruin when I think it was Emperor Riemann III died. So let's use the grappling bow. But yeah I'm kind of worried about this dragon that the horn is from. <laughs> Probably won't be able to kill the dragon if it is guarding the horn. Oh wow! That does not look natural, but it's pretty. 
Let's get a closer look at this. Oh no, it is part of the rock. I don't know what it is. Could be corruption like in the lair of Marcelock. Oh, look at this place. I don't see a way farther into the sanctuary. Perhaps you'll have better luck. Hold on. Some dragon skulls. Oh, they're really cool. Yeah. That's awesome. But yeah, look at this place. Oh. What's that? Obviously reveals the hidden path. Oh, this is going to be cool. <laughs> Let's talk to Sai first if we can. The path leading farther into this sanctuary is hidden from us. I see neither grappling points nor braziers to light. There must be another way. Well, this was a training ground for Dragon Guard, so let's see. No, that doesn't seem helpful. Okay. You should try looking somewhere else. Well, I don't sound so disappointed. Nothing useful yet? Hmm. Maybe he's lucky last. Here we go. Marillan. I know you're nervous about leading the initiates tomorrow, but there's nothing to it. Just do your best to encourage them to honour those who came before and to be the best Dragon Guard they can be. As the Dragon Guard were descendants of the Arkaviri and the Arkaviri were about honouring their ancestors, that makes sense. If you did the Hakache quest area in elsewhere. If you did want to test their wits however, I came up with a riddle for how to get across the chasm. You can even make it into a competition. Whoever solves it first can have the privilege of shining both our boots. After all, what's the point of moving up the ladder if we can't reap some benefits? That's not really a privilege, but whatever. <laughs> Take the dust of our fallen foe and offer it to the altar. As you walk the path of the Dragon Guard, may your steps never falter. A gravel point, and there's an urn beside it. Why don't you see what it contains? Dragon ashes, maybe? Uh, where is it? Oh, up there. That's dragon bone powder. The ancient dragon guard used it in their ceremonies. Dragon bone powder, huh. And as we saw that player do before, Of course. The powder reveals a hidden path. Follow it, quickly! Ah, oh, this is so cool. Oh, crap. Um, yeah. I walked too fast there. But yeah, it's showing the path. If it disappears, does the path disappear? Let me get up. Can't. Here we go. I'll walk more slower next time. Get across easier. Ah, it's that one corner. Have to be more careful. Third time is the charm, as they say. We'll go carefully this time. Okay, it ends there. This 
is kind of cool. An invisible walk pass. Or a bridge. Invisible bridge. Ah, uh, now where? Oh, that way. It's tricking us. Looks like we're there. Cool. Another archive. No dragon horn in sight. Let's look around. I do like these glowing rocks. But I don't think they're natural. Oh, part three. My travels and research have led me to this sanctuary with the hope that I would find the horn of Jadari within. Alas, it seems that while the great dragon horn once rested within these halls, it has long since been stolen away, of course. And by the few accounts I could discover, I believe that the theft was performed by none other than a dragon. Obviously the dragon that the horn was made from. While it pays me to learn of such a grave dishonour to our order, I am more resolved than ever to get back what is rightfully ours. I have surmised that we'll find this foul creature in a dormant volcano located in southern elsewhere. Ooh. I have also learned its name, Valkozen. The map included herein shows the way to its lair. If we find this beast, we will find the horn and I can think of no greater pleasure than slaying such an enemy. It's time for myself and my fellow soldiers to finally prove the might of the Dragon Guard. After all, what better way to return our glory than with a dragon hunt? Though we are small in number, we are brave of heart. We are Dragon Guard and we will face this dragon or die in the attempt as our order always has. Huh. Have you found something? I have. Did you find anything? Something about the dragon horn? I found another journal. It says a dragon named Valkozen stole the horn. By Lecky's blade. Of all the possibilities I imagined, that was never among them. No matter the dangers, we must retrieve that dragon horn. The fate of elsewhere depends on it. Did the journal indicate where Veloxen lairs? Oh, Valoxen. I was saying it wrong. Valoxen. The dragon makes its lair in a dormant volcano in southern elsewhere. The journal includes a map. Such a journey requires planning and preparation. Let's return to the Abbey of Blades and check in with Kasura. Ah, uh, I want to explore a bit more. These dragon god sanctuaries, hidden for so long. How many more lie buried in the dust? How much knowledge remains lost to us? Not only that, Tamriel probably has heaps of hidden caverns and areas. So, now that we know where the dragon horn is being kept, it was stolen by this dragon, Val Loxen, and he took it to a place in southern elsewhere which is where we have to go next but i'm gonna end this one here and we'll continue this on in the next one thanks for watching